what a wonderful night, but what an achievement to get there because this is the backstory is is that uh, she was still struggling with 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 uh, with Class A drugs, and so she went into the Capio Nightingale Clinic for two weeks to get ready for this. Amy was the first British female artist ever to be nominated for six Grammy Awards. But due to a minor drugs conviction, she was denied a visa to travel to America for the awards ceremony. So the Grammys offered to come to Amy via a live satellite link to London. But first, she had to get clean. So we did it from uh, a, a studio in Hammersmith. It was set up like a nightclub and Obviously, it was full of family and friends, and it was just a, 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 an incredible evening. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Thank you very, very, very much. Amy was nominated for six Grammys, and she won five. And in my opinion, if she'd won the sixth, someone would have combusted that night. <laughs> it was just everyone would have lost their mind. And the Grammy goes to Amy Winehouse. Five Grammys, wow, what a night. And what an iconic photograph. I just love it. I just love it. Just, just incredible. True love. Somebody picked me up and sort of put me on the stage with Amy. And she said to me, like hugging me, Mum, what, what do I say? I said, Amy, say thank you. <laughs> she couldn't believe it, but Amy never had confidence in herself. She really didn't. Basically, she didn't get it, that she could do it. Didn't realise what a good singer she was. But I still see my little girl looking at that. The little girl that grew up and didn't know what was going on. Whilst Blake was still in prison, Amy did relapse, but then successfully quit drugs 10 months after this photograph was taken. She just stopped. She said, that's it, I'm done. She said, I can't take it anymore. I don't want it, I don't want this. And that was basically the end of drugs. There were many, many high points to Amy's life after 2008, and there were some low points, believe you me. Um, but but she was doing great. She was she was back. 